Oak Time Cinema has presented us with various characters who are shown to be battling their inner demons and are often labeled as misfits according to our so-called perfect society. They are branded dysfunctional because both their perspectives and actions defy the conventional societal norms. And while most of them are psychologically and emotionally perilled by some or the other infirmity and are nowhere close to being perfect, these characters often leave a lasting impression on our minds. Here are the top 10 dysfunctional movie characters who will forever be remembered and celebrated for being different. Forrest Gump What does normal mean anyway? This unforgettable line by Forrest's mother in the 1994 classic film has not lost its bearing even after 20 years since the film's release. It somehow sets the entire theme of the movie in a single line. Forrest Gump, the protagonist of the film, played by the incredible Tom Hanks, is an embodiment of utmost determination and hope that alone can create miracles which cannot be voiced with logic. Detected with an IQ of less than 75 and severe spine damage, Forrest faced all hardships without giving up even once. Travis Pickle One of the most striking features that somehow link all the dysfunctional characters is their recurring failure to blend with their societal environment. Travis Pickle, an iconic character played by Robert De Niro in 1976 film Taxi Driver, suffers from acute insomnia and is often seen to be occupied with thoughts of cleansing the world. With passing time, he finds himself being dragged into the black hole of his own insecurities. Teddy Daniels Like most other Martin Scorsese films where the protagonists are usually lost, demented, and dysfunctional beings, Shutter Island is no exception. The story follows the uncanny life of detective Teddy Daniels, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, who is trapped within the sphere of his professional and personal life. The character is edgy, desperate, and is widely shunned as fanatical by the rest of the world as he copes with his own psychotic episodes to a point where he is no longer able to differentiate between reality and imagination. Leonard Shelby This list would be incomplete without a mention of Leonard Shelby from the 2000 film Mento. Despite suffering from androgate amnesia, Leonard Shelby, played by Guy Pearce, decides to forestall his limitation and move ahead in the path of vengeance. With every villain he combats, he is simultaneously battling his own infirmity and dysfunction. Howard Hughes Howard Hughes, the haughty and dysfunctional business tycoon, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, serves as yet another metaphorical envoy of Martin Scorsese's list of frantic and damaged protagonists. The more he reaches the pinnacle of establishment, the more does Howard unknowingly falls prey to his own infirmity of acute obsessive-compulsive disorder. Patrick Bateman Christian Bale iconized Patrick Bateman as one of the most prominent dysfunctional serial killer characters. Amidst the shroud of negativity lies this person who has been deprived of his decency till the point of absolute moral degradation. Benjamin Button Seldom has any other film portrayed the unthinkable extremity of a dysfunctional character as this David Fincher directorial has. Benjamin Button, played remarkably well by Brad Pitt, is an unusual character who ages in reverse and as a result finds his whole life in a topsy-turvy. Such a character who defies normalcy becomes an object of awe for the entire world and is mostly met with severe insolence. Nina Sayers For the extremely passionate ballet dancer Nina, played by Natalie Portman, her unchecked passion itself becomes lethal to her existence. As she succumbs to the bipolarity of her character, the entire world becomes a big maze of disorientation to her. Pat Solitano Diagnosed with bipolar disorder and delusion, Pat, played by Bradley Cooper, devotes his life in pursuit of hope and silver lining. This is symbolized by his endless hope of reuniting with his wife. Pat epitomizes the fact that no person has to be necessarily textbook defined normal to lead a contented life. Hannah Schmitz Set in post-World War II Germany, the film trails the life of Hannah Schmitz, an unusual character who is constricted within her sense of diffidence as she fights a dyslexia and constantly attempts to fit in a normal world.
So no matter how frenzied and dysfunctional these characters may be, often they are who we relate to the most, aren't they? There is wholeness in their dysfunction. So does your list of all-time favorite dysfunctional characters match ours? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and let us know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos.